Hey guys, it's Flip, and before we get into the review of Shaw Scope Volume 1, in the book, in the trivia section for Crippled Avengers, they kind of let they kind of let slip, I mean it's purposely, uh, let let it be known what is coming in volume two of Shaw Scope. So it says the Venom Mom would appear in several more films directed by Chang Che over the next few years. Look out for the following in Shaw Scope Volume 2, coming soon from Arrow Video. Invincible Shaolin, Magnificent Ruffians, Kid with the Golden Arm, and Ten Tigers of Quan Tong. I am very excited for that. And after this box set, Volume 2 couldn't come soon enough because I devoured this set. I mean, I went through everything. Uh, there is one problem I have with the set, which we'll talk about uh, when I get to that point. But this is one of the best releases, if not the best release of 2021 for me. I'm a huge martial arts fan, huge kung fu fan, and this is like a wet dream for for collectors of this genre, uh, especially the studio Shaw Brothers. Just absolutely incredible. We haven't had that, you know. This is the one genre, in my opinion, kung fu martial arts, uh, that hasn't gotten this degree of love, this degree of respect in a box set like this. I'm a huge fan of samurai movies as well, but we've had, you know. Lone Wolf and Cubs, Adoichi, I'm a huge Yakuza fan, and we've, we've even had Outlaw Gangster VIP, uh, Battles of Honor Humanity, I'm a huge Western fan, the Complete Sartana set as well, uh, have, you know, we have, we have gotten box sets that I would put in the pantheon of the greatest boxes of all time, and this easily sits in that box, in, in that Hall of Fame for me. Um, something that they do that's really cool is that here is where the discs are housed. Normally, I don't, I don't hate, I, normally I don't like this. Uh, they're housed in paper in the cardboard sleeves, but they're very easy to get out. Uh, the cardboard behind the disc is like a lot softer, I think, than than like normal, and uh, they don't scratch at all. Also, the spine very, 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 very thick. Uh, I think it's going to hold up for years to come. And I and I've only liked this once before, and that's in the Zadoichi set. So let's talk about the movies themselves. The movies themselves look incredible. Uh, things start off right away with King Boxer right here and everything's got its own artwork and then uh, we get the boxer from Shantan, from Shantung and then we move into the first double feature five Shaolin Masters and Shaolin Temple a great double feature my least favorite movie in the set I'm just not a fan of this movie my Peking man and the second double feature Challenge of the Masters and Executioners from Shaolin Chinatown Kid Probably my second least favorite movie. I still had a great time with this. I genuinely just don't like Mighty Peking Man. My favorite disc in the set, five, The Five Venoms slash Crippled Avengers. And then we get Heroes of the East and Dirty Ho. And then we move into, you get two CDs of music, which I thought was really damn cool. Uh, and when they, had, I think they announced that kind of later on, uh, after they had already announced the box that they announced that that was coming. Uh, I was really, really surprised. Uh, the, the the transfers on these films look incredible. Uh, I thought I thought King Boxer looked great, but by the time I got the Crippled Avengers, I was absolutely blown away by how good it looked. It looked like it was shot yesterday. It looks brand new. It just I loved every second of it. Um, the problem with the problem I do have is that the commentary on Five Venoms by Simon Abrams, who also wrote the book, there is a few inconsistencies in the book, but they're very minor and they're kind of nitpicky. But he makes a lot of false statements in the uh, in the in the commentary track for the five venoms. Uh, the most egregious one for me was that he says that uh, executioners from Shaolin uh, was called master killer in the states. That's just not knowing fundamentals, in my opinion. Everyone knows. Even you know, I was talking to a friend. He said his wife knows that. My wife even knows that thirty six chambers of Shaolin is called master killer in the states. My wife absolutely hates this kind of these these kinds of movies. Uh, Five Venoms is one of my favorite movies. I have this great poster by Kung Fu Bob O'Brien, uh, signed by RZA himself from their 36 Chambers, uh, from the 36 Cinema live stream that they did a few months ago. I love this poster. I need to get it framed and hang in the living room. Uh, but yeah, overall, this is a wet dream for uh, martial arts and Kung Fu fanatics. Uh, this genre hasn't had a box set that has shown the love and respect that the genre deserves in a way like this before. Uh, I'm a massive Shaw Brothers fan. Uh, right behind me is just a small portion of my uh, Region 3 Hong Kong DVDs. Uh, all, I would say, relatively obscure movies uh, for casual fans, uh, except for the one arm Swordsman box set. Uh, this is just mind-blowing to me. Uh, my favorite movie, my favorite Shaw Brothers movie going into the set was tied between the five, the, the, the five Deadly Venoms and Killer Constable. 
But after watching um, uh, Crippled Defenders again, I was blown away. I forgot how fucking good that movie was. Uh, this has been an absolute stellar year for Kung Fu martial arts cinema releases. I think Eureka 88 have been killing it, and then Arrow just comes and just slams this down, and this is a must-buy, in my opinion. This is a must-own box set. It's beautiful. I love the artwork. I love the design. I love the back as well, the spine. Uh, the size, I saw some people complaining. The size is truly isn't that weird when you're holding it in person. It feels more natural i guess when you're actually like holding it versus seeing pictures of it uh it's not that heavy either it's about the same weight as the zadoichi set just a little bit longer zadoichi is more compact it's a uh, it's about three inches longer than zadoichi but it's literally just a hair taller than zadoichi as well i think this box set's very well built it's very very sturdy i think the the book where the discs are housed is very sturdy as well my only complaint is that the book is not hardcover uh, it is paperback, which kind of was confusing at first why they went to go that route. Um, but it's a pretty well-built book as well. The binding seems to be uh, very solid as well. So hopefully this holds up as time goes on. And yeah, after seeing that trivia, I cannot wait for volume two. Uh, I went through these. The way I went through these is uh, Arrow had put up all the, all the movies and the special features about two weeks on the Arrow player about two weeks ago. I went through all the special features, and then I watched the movies on the discs themselves uh, last three days. Luckily, I had two of those days I had off work, so I was able to really dive into it. Special features are phenomenal, minus that one commentary track by Simon Abrams. Um, just an absolutely incredible package. The special features uh, really set this above and beyond the normal Arrow offer. Uh, a lot of times, I feel like Arrow's special features are hit or miss. Here, it is mind-blowingly good a lot of archival footage there's one interview with gordon Liu that i thought was fantastic and he's wearing a calvin klein shirt he looks so hit when it happens um yeah just blown away all the commentaries besides simon abrams uh are fantastic the book overall minus the few inconsistencies is fantastic and the transfers themselves are incredible i if you're even on the fence about this i highly highly recommend you pick this up this is a must-own in 2021 and one of the best releases, if not the best release of the year. And let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. What's your favorite Shaw Brothers movie? Are you picking up this box set? And let's talk about it. I'm Flip, and I'll see you next time.